Hi, this is Michelle Getzinger and I'm getting a lot of questions of how you can view listings or houses for sale during the shutdown. Well, I want to tell you, <clears throat> if you have a tech savvy realtor like myself, there are a couple ways, there are actually three ways that we can get you into the house during the shutdown. The first one would be a 3D model. A 3D model places you directly into the home. It's accurate up to an eighth of an inch. It will walk you through every nook and cranny in the house. The second one is a home tour video. That's one I would walk you through the house basically the same way. And the third way that we can do it is a live virtual tour through a Zoom meeting. And I'm about to start one here with my client in the local Pittsburgh market. Both seller and buyer are from the area, but we are unable to get into the house right now due to the shutdown. So we're gonna hop on to a Zoom meeting and the seller is gonna actually walk us through. So it's pretty cool what you can do with technology these days. So we're about to hop onto a Zoom meeting and here are some tips to get started before you do yours. Number one, you wanna make sure that you have the software properly downloaded onto your computer, whether it be Zoom or FaceTime or another platform. And then second, you're gonna be supplied with a link from most likely either the seller or the seller's agent, if you're the buyer. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna hop on to the meeting. You're gonna click onto the link and in that chat room, you're going to see, first off, recommendation number one, you should mute yourself, okay? Because you never know what's going to be happening in the background. Um, but once you're in there, you're probably going to see the seller, the seller's agent, the buyer, the buyer's agent. And in this case, I have a couple family members that are going to hop on too for the tour. So that way, this client is able to see the property before they have a chance to go out and see it in person, which we're not allowed to do right now. So this is um, going to be their first tour through the property. So come on and check it out. Tips for buyers for a Zoom meeting, okay? Look through all the property information the day before. Take a look at the pictures. Get the MLS sheet off of um, your realtor. Get the disclosure sheets from your realtor. Review all that stuff. Have a list of questions to ask beforehand. Um, I would even recommend, you know, knowing where the location is. I know technically we're not supposed to do any drive-bys right now. You're not supposed to leave your house for any unintended purposes. But you can still look up Google Street View. You can see where it's at virtually from your home. So that way you know what the neighborhood's like. Pull all those stats up, get the stats from your realtor, look at the comps in the neighborhood so you're well prepared for the questions that you're gonna ask that seller because this interaction is rare. Normally the agents are the buffers between the sellers and the buyers and this is a front row seat for you to kind of get to know that seller and ask some more personal questions that you normally wouldn't be able to do. Now that being said, limit the questions that you ask. Watch what you ask and the tone that you ask it in because people are very sensitive, okay? Um, make sure that if it's a questionable question, you should run it past your realtor first so they can give you the thumbs up if it's appropriate or not. So good luck, have fun, and enjoy your ride through your virtual tour. Tips if you are a seller and you're hosting the Zoom meeting. Okay, so number one that you wanna do is you wanna make sure you go through, pick up the house, make sure that the throw pillows are on where they're supposed to be, everything's dusted, and the lighting is really nice, all the clutter's put away. You wanna open all the blinds, you wanna open the windows, so there's a lot of light that come into the house. Every light that you have needs to be turned on, even if it's in the toilet above the shower. Um, lamps need to be turned on. Everything needs to be straightened up. And then please, sellers, beforehand, the night before, plan your tour. Plan the route through the house. That way we're not stumbling over everything. And then when you're taking us through, make sure you talk about the, the improvements that have been done to that room so they can see what we're talking about as we go through. Don't start talking about like the random garage shed siding that you put on while you're into the master bathroom. Like, let's not confuse things. So plan your route, plan what you're gonna say. Be confident, calm, positive. Even though your face will not be on the video, that smile transfers through. So make sure that you're smiling and it'll help you get over your nervousness. If you stumble, don't worry, nobody cares, okay? So that's the most important thing. Think of the key items, the great things about your house. Walk us through, have a tour planned, have everything bright and light and all the um, stuff picked up. So sellers, you should be good. So we don't really know what the future has in store for us. We may have another shutdown, we may not. We may be out in a couple weeks, we may not. But either way, moving forward, this is a very exciting time in the real estate world. 
I don't see these, this technology going away. I think moving forward, we're gonna be embracing the 3D tours, the video tours, and the Zoom meetings more and more as we move forward. So I can't wait to get back out there. I can't wait to see you guys again in person. I'm going a little stir crazy here. So until next time, I will see you hopefully in person. If you wanna see everything we can do for you virtually, check the link below, michellegetzinger.com forward slash virtual.